Yo, it's your boy DC Tree, and this is DC Tree Dance Nation, the channel on YouTube that covers hoops and heroes. And today we're talking heroes, we're talking Black Panther 2, y'all. And it wasn't too long ago, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago, where it was officially announced that for Black Panther 2, T'Challa will not be recast. Now, if you follow the channel, you know, you know I was an advocate for the recasting of T'Challa because the character just means so much to me personally and the fan base. And obviously the comics, 98, 99% of the comics revolve around that character. But it doesn't look like that's going to be the case at least for Black Panther 2. So I got to think about this video and I just got one request, man. If you're going to kill off T'Challa... Or you, or he, if he disappears, or if he's hurt, or he's put on the back shelf, give him an epic send off, okay? You can't just not have T'Challa in the title at all. You get what I'm saying? But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, like I said before, you know I was an advocate for the recast. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, at least for Black Panther 2. And I tell you, I took the news like a champ. I really did. Okay, I might have been a little upset, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not, it's not, it's nothing against black women or nothing against Shuri as a character or nothing against, you know, there's nothing misogynistic about it. You know, I've been running into that with uh, female fans a lot. No, it has nothing to do with it. It's just that if you read the comics, you're attached to T'Challa. You know, he's in 98, 99% of the comics as the Black Panther. And it's things about the Shuri Black Panther that I did like. You know, I did like her, you know, all in attitude. She definitely was about that life. But then when I look at Letitia Wright, I'm not sure if she embodies that aggressive nature that Shuri in the comics had. So I didn't really think it was going to work if that's what Marvel, you know, plans on doing. Because they officially, as of this video, haven't really said that Shuri is going to be the next Black Panther. It's kind of been understood. And again, they're not telling us if T'Challa is going to die or is he going to disappear or is he going to get hurt. I know in the comics, you know, when did, when Shuri did take over, T'Challa was still alive. He was just really hurt, you know, really messed up. So I don't know if Marvel is going to, you know, the MCU is going to make an interpretation off of that and maybe bring T'Challa back in BP3. I don't know what they're planning on doing. It's a lot of things that they could do. But the one thing that I really want them to do is to you know settle this conflict or settle this story art on screen through cgi and i know they've already said that they're not bringing you know chadwick boseman back you know as a cgi character and i think they meant that as like him being cgi for the entire movie but i do think he deserves an epic send-off i mean not necessarily even showing chadwick's face but the male black panther you know the cgi black panther stunt double needs to be in the film whether it's a flashback or maybe the first 10 15 minutes of the movie 20 minutes of the movie they show us how t'challa dies or how t'challa disappears or how he gets hurt and you have an opportunity to make that you know action sequence epic okay very epic and that's all i really want as a t'challa fan moving forward with these films okay especially if you're going to kill off the character which again hasn't been confirmed but it, you know i wouldn't be surprised if they did that at this point because you know if black panther 2 with shuri as the lead makes another billion dollars i don't see them really messing with that formula if they don't have to so with all that you know possibly coming Give him an epic send-off. We see this all the time with the Star Wars films, man. Star Wars does such a great job of using CGI in moderation, but epically. They do that a lot in their TV shows. Small moments can be epic, and that's all I want. You know, one of the greatest moments in Star Wars was, you know, Rogue One. Spoiler alert. In Rogue One, you know, that you know one minute clip 30 second 45 second minute clip of darth vader just slashing <laughs> slashing mugs up epic if you can give t'challa chadwick boseman t'challa that you know moment those type of moments and just let him ride off in the sunset as a fan that would be really satisfying okay and it would make it easier for us you know as t'challa you know stands to kind of 
pass the torch to Shuri. But I just don't want this conflict or this story point to be, you know, just talked about with no visual stimulus, nothing happening on screen. They could really make this awesome. Like, for instance, if T'Challa dies in the explosion, you know, you can show him saving Wakandans, you know, before that, sacrificing himself for the country, something like that. Make it epic. Make it a celebration of not just T'Challa the Black Panther, but also Chadwick Boseman. You know, let him go out as a hero. Not, you know, you know, and last time we saw him in, you know, in game, he was pretty heroic. That's not what I'm saying. But I, I just think it'd just be a good, satisfying moment for the bring the Black Panther community together. Cause we're split on this. A lot of people are pro Shuri and a lot of people are pro T'Challa. And it will kind of bring us back together you know, that in that moment. So I really hope they do that. And I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense, y'all. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching the video. If you like videos like this, I got a superhero playlist that you can check out. Top five picks for Storm. Hopefully Storm is still gonna be around in the MCU sooner than later. Hey guys, let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this Black Panther issue. Let's keep it, let's keep it cordial, man. Things have been kind of weird in the Black Panther community. We've been going back and forth. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.